telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. You understand? Yes, Petruga. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Really, dude? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> was it Alan? So I see what. Six. Cool. I've actually pretty much never used a grenade. <laughs> For that exact reason, I'm kind of tempted to do it. <laughs> How about I watch some of the videos? Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma. The plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Welcome to the Alpha Lab. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocar, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Damn, it took 40 years to build this. I guess it's not really surprising. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa! What? Bleh. Screw you! Actually, really surprised. <laughs> I thought at least it would do like a, let's say AOE damage. Um, it sounds kind of weird in the context of an FPS. Stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Holy cow! Surprised us. This came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating, but they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Oh shit, what? Hmm, scary. That's kind of impressive animation. Pretty nice. Better than I expect from this game anyway. I mean, I never really thought about this game as immersive via animation. But it's, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Then again, maybe I just 
I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> I thought that's that's it really. Dude. Oh, dude. That's very nice, dude. Good. Fucking what? What? I mean, I know I'm in the easiest difficulty, but two shots with shotgun. After all that, it's <laughs> a good game. Those do feel too easy, right? Am I just like crazy? I mean, I'm playing fucking Doom Theory, of course I'm crazy, but. They save us or Satan? As odd as it sounds, and obviously as it would be Satan. I did honestly think I heard save us. I used to love this part so much and, and hate it all at the same time. that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. 
Dr. Vitrugarev's so-called optimization to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority on this. Nice. Welcome to the Alpha Labs, formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Oh, dude. Okay, I'll stop fucking around. Dude, ow. I mean, I lied about not fucking around. It's just too fun. <laughs> oh, shit. Except generic horror and jump scare paranormal stuff. that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian awesome. environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Nice. I don't remember this. <laughs> I did run right then. Ah, 
Ow, dude. for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabins with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. Stand alone. Nice. Ah. Ah, ah, no time. Uh. Why did I run through that? <laughs> that? How did I miss that? You know I'm gonna be very happy when I beat this game. Oh, whew. That's these were... thought these were more annoying monsters. Easy pie. Okay, I'm pretty sure I actually skipped some stuff here. What? Damn it. Okay, one last area before I go, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure you can turn off that fire. I, I, I just skipped it and... I killed myself on it. Oh, nice. I knew I wanted to come back here at least. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024 2145. <laughs> I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The 
most serious incident was when John Hughes, his hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. <coughs> it's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because According to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and a blogger.